We just kind of knew all year it would come down to McDevitt and Lampeter Peter Strasburg in the District 4A Championship, and here we are. On a windy night, the story in Harrisburg, look at that. The two-time defending 4A champ pioneers can't even run through their own flag. It's already open. You should have gone with paper. That's what worked for McDevitt, telling LS they're going to have time to hang with their girlfriends next Friday. Pretty hard to tell early, though. McDevitt inside the five on second down. Jackson Heater stuffs Marquise Williams. Big because McDevitt passes on third down, and Stone Saunders going to be picked off by Drexton Frank. Decent return. Pioneers can't do anything with it, but that's okay because they prevent a touchdown in a low scoring game. Still tied at zero in the second. LS threatening, but the high snap there, and Riley Robel dives on top of it. So red zone turnovers for each team in the first half, and we're knotted at zero at the break. Defense getting a pep talk heading into the third quarter, but the offense getting in on it now. Marquise Williams gets the handoff, takes it inside, bounces outside, and he's going to score the first touchdown of the game late in the third quarter to make it seven zip Crusaders. The crowd finally was something to cheer about on the offensive end. Head coach Jeff Wechter still not so happy at this point, but the defense stays rock solid like it has all year. Pioneers trying to answer in McD territory. We have a fumble. And again, it is jumped on by the Crusaders. Jamani George Heron coming up with it. He's amped, as you can imagine. And on Lamp Peters' last effort, driven backward. Robel there again, all over in this one. 55, what a performance. McDevitt able to hold off the two time defending champs, 7 0. A huge win for this Crusader program. And they are now on to the state bracket. It feels amazing. I mean, since I got since I got into high school, since I came here, this this is all I've been thinking about. It's what I've been dreaming of. I love standing here right now. The key word, we had adversity. What are we gonna do in adversity? When adversity hits. You know, you gotta remain positive when adversity hits, so that's what we did. It's really what we wanted. I mean we felt bad for our seniors last year because we thought we could have made a run last year. We talked about it all year long about you know they didn't let us you know we didn't get in last year and we wanted to make some noise and we did. Yes, they did. Into the state bracket they go. They're going to take on Bishop Shanahan in the next round. 